in seven days from right now, I'm going to jump alone out of a plane. <laughs> Feels crazy to say it out loud. But first, here is the story of how I became a skydiver. I did my skydiving training in beautiful Voss, but I was not there for the beauty. Voss is also the extreme sport capital of Norway. Before we could jump out of a plane, we had two days of ground training. We learned the theory behind a good freefall position, how to exit the plane, how to fly a parachute and how to find a good landing area. And then we got the possibility to try our freefall position in the wind tunnel. The wind tunnel was a lot of fun, but I was struggling. The wind tunnel was really, really hard and it uh, kind of crushed my confidence because if I, if I can't do it in a wind tunnel in kind of controlled environment, how can I do it when I jump out of a plane? So, no. I was really confident about jumping, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit scared of tomorrow's jump right now. The day after, it was time for my first jump ever. And I've heard that when you skydive, everything else disappears. Well, it was not like that for me. It felt extremely noisy and it was hard to think. I did all the things I was supposed to do, but it did not feel as I hoped to. When I landed, I did not have that rush that I hoped for. I was exhausted from all the impressions and the pressure of doing everything right. This feeling intensified when the other students came down and told stories about their amazing experience. This feeling was kind of similar for jump 2. Everything went okay, but I didn't really enjoy the jump. But everything changed in jump 3. In the third jump, we had good enough time to just relax and find a good position. And for the first time, it felt great. You can see that my instructor was happy with my position. And for the first time, skydiving was amazing. But just when everything was going great, something happened. Two of the students in my group had bad landings and got injured. One of them was even rushed to the hospital in an ambulance. The dangerous skydiving suddenly got real. Two of the students in my course got injured today and one of them is in the hospital. I don't know how she's doing right now, but the rumors say that she broke her foot. And uh, yeah, it kind of makes everything a lot more real. And it makes you think about the risk with this sport. It is really fun, but it comes with some risk. And uh, it makes it a little bit harder to jump out of a plane tomorrow again. To make everything worse, we couldn't jump for two days because of bad weather. So when I got back in the plane, I felt really nervous. I had the injuries of my friend in mind, but when I finally jumped, I really got that amazing feeling that everyone was talking about. I was flying and I was in control and it felt good. landed safely and I really just wanted to get up in a plane and jump again. This was the feeling that I was searching for. Jump 5, 6 and 7 was a lot more fun. We were finally able to do flips and enjoy our time in the air. And even though there has been better flips in the skydiving sport, I finally felt like a skydiver. was my experience of learning to solo skydive through the AFF course. One thing that didn't show in the video was how amazing everyone in my group and also the other staff at WAS were. We were cheering and high-fiving every landing. Even the landings that were not perfect. 
So if you are considering to learning to solo skydive, do it. It was an amazing experience and unlike everything I have ever tried in my life. Like the video if you watch it all the way to the end.